gouvernementale Cameroun Tribune. Un titre pour sa part, euh, la classe politique sort le carton rouge. Euh, selon ce journal, la sortie de Maurice Camteau est malheureuse et maladroite. L'université a So where uh, where are we currently at and where are we headed to? The city of Ndusi. We're going to a village of Kanganyaze, which was the last stop where slave. It was the last stop for slave bought by slave traders before being sent out overseas. Okay. So this is the uh, monument. The memorial, yeah, memorial. The monument. And then we'll go to the specific spot. Okay. Okay. So what is this uh, memorial stand of representation of monument? Marking this area as one of the last the stop on the road to slavery, the route of the slave, road of the slave. Because like I say, Kanganyaze was one the last spot where the slaves could actually um, get purified before being taken up to South America. And then since the government has been made aware of this site, they built this memorial. Wow. In Kong, uh, at, we in Kanganyazi now, at the entrance of the village. And this is where this memorial is. Can I step up here? Yes, yes. Okay. 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 The river is down there, so we're gonna walk to the okay. river where they would get it purified. Is is is, is the slave trade tight at all in Ivory Coast? Like on a large level or is it kind of uh, in the uh, more colonial history because the slave trade is way way before our history as a country but yeah it's talked about but it's only recently recent decades that we've known that part of slave trade actually took part out here before it was mainly taught that it wasn't they were departed from ghana or even benin the benin republic okay now that's why there's this big push by the ministry of tourism Reclaiming that history. Good. That's a good thing. Burkina Faso and places like that to go through here. Through, so the slaves from Guinea, Burkina Faso. Yeah, go from here and then being taken from uh, Chiasale, the city by the river, okay. on barges and then brought to the port, then shipped overseas. Alright, because Burkina, well, Burkina Faso is landlocked. No, no yeah, landlocked. Oh, Guinea, no. Guinea, Guinea's not landlocked, is it? Guinea is not landlocked, but part of Guinea, yeah. The eastern part of Guinea, is, it's not landlocked, but it's go, it goes over Liberia. If you look at the map, part of Guinea goes over Liberia and borders Cote d'Ivoire. So that's why from that area of Guinea, the river go through here. So they're going through Liberia, because remember Liberia is free, probably about three slaves they wouldn't dare bring slave food there mm -hmm. can you imagine what would have happened all right exactly <laughs> like you weren't taking out people because i know the uh the liberians the that came from the free slaves that came over they actually mm -hmm. they actually when they arrived to liberia the slave trade was taking place so they had to fight off yeah, uh, slave raids. So maybe what we're talking about here was maybe before uh, Liberia was founded as a country. Hmm. It was just like the trade of Portuguese trader. The, yeah, because for the most Liberia, part, yeah. for the most part, when Liberia was founded as a country, the slave trade was yeah, cause it's slave trade was already kind of abolished in yeah, some it parts. Was abolished, but out here, so we're talking 1600s. We were the country then, we were a collection of kingdoms. And right. In the Mali and Pion place like 1500, 1600, that's what I'm thinking for you what happened here. It was when Liberia was founded, I don't think, I didn't think a lot of people already knew about the slave trade. So it's gonna go check because sometimes you have kids bathing. Oh, okay. Kids naked, so, oh, so the river's right here. Yeah, it's right okay. here. Okay.
Pete, from what you were saying as far as the religious being taken away. See, we had our ancestral religion that were taken away and they vilified our religion, the local ones like voodoo, for example. If you've seen movies all about skulls and voodoo being about witchcraft, but it's a different way of honoring our ancestor. It's an old African religion, and that's all it is. Like every religion, it could be used for good or for bad, but I right. guess the white people are not wanting the slave to practice it. It carried until the 20th century when movies, voodoo was described as a religion for witchcraft and voodoo dolls and this, that, and the other. It's all about spiritual warfare. That's all it is. All right, so we're about to walk down to the uh, river where the slaves were purified. They had a spiritual bath before they continued uh, to the port where they will go to uh, to South America. Uh, so they will be. So they will go to the ports, I guess, to be sold, or were they already sold? Well, they're already, yeah, they're already uh, sold. Yeah, because yeah, the one that went inland were the slave catchers, and bought them to the traders to, on the coastal cities, and then they'll be sold at the ports. Actually, they'll be sold, I guess, wholesale to the yeah, probably wholesale traders. And then when it came to America, the guy would bring them up for the entire boat. And then I remember the scenes where they had to open your mouth. And then people will buy you upon arrival at the ports over there. So those people shipping them were just traders, not slave owners themselves. And we'll sell them once they get to America, South America. Did you hear about uh, Ghana? Or how they're reaching out back to black America and they're going to offer black Americans free visas to travel to Ghana and maybe uh, citizenship? Yes, I have. You think, that's, some, you think, you think that's something that... Uh, well, all African nations weren't involved in the slave trade. Really, many of them didn't ex yeah. even exist. In fact, all of them didn't exist. But do you think uh, more African nations should follow the lead to that? They should, but even Ghana, I don't know if it's actually effective. It's it's been put in place to talk about Well, they had the right to vote for a while, but I think they're really um, yeah, talking about implementing it because it was a bunch of red tape. Okay. Um, like you had to show a bunch of documents, which is bullshit because, again, being a black American instead of the slave <laughs> trade, we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't have we all documents. the documents. We were kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> sold. <laughs> just an American passport. Yeah. So, I hopefully it works out. People from Haitian or whatever descent come to Africa and see but it's the same if you're black in yeah, if you're black, South America right. or South America you're taken from Africa so it shouldn't matter anyway exactly so that's true no red tape you have non-African citizenship from South or North America you should be given that right to return because when the more I travel the more I realize black people we all the same Right, exactly. Because we originally from the same area. Talking about CP time. Here we got CP time square. Right. <laughs> the importance of family. I see a lot of big mamas out here. Right. Like, so the movie Soul Food, how the grandmothers, the matriarch, making sure the family, cooking for everybody, teaching lessons, and being nurturing, the nurturing individual. And that's what you see in most African cultures. And I guess it comes from our origin, from our roots. Well, here's the river. Okay. bon? C'est bon? Okay. Okay. <laughs> They take care of the okay. bottles, purification, okay. purification. So from this river is where they went to the port. No, no, not from here. Here is where they're giving the purification bath. Okay, giving the purification bath. Yeah, we'll see the, uh, the river where they're taken later on. Okay, gotcha. Here they actually had to walk to that next city over by the big river. This is just a stream. This is actually a stream. The river we're talking about is much larger. They had barges that take people to the coastal city of Sassandra or San Pedro, where they'll be taken up. Look, 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 look,
Okay. Voilà, le caillou est là, où est, en bas du bois là. Ok, c'est si. une grosse pièce sur laquelle on a. C'est une big rock that you see on that sign. It's actually underneath behind the stroke. That's where the slave was standing and that's where they were being purified. Oh, ouais. C'est comme genre un vase. Ok. C'est comme ça que. It's like a vase. They'll put it like a tub, basically. It's a hollow rock. So they'll put water in them, in it. Not actually in here, but in that rock with a hollow interior and then put water in it and slave with stand in it and be purified mm -hmm. according to, to the rights. Mm. Okay. He's just telling me that in the past not knowing when they were younger, this was considered a sacred area. Nobody was supposed to come out here because it was sacred. And then it's because the elders who forgotten history kinda knew that this was a this was hollow ground, so they didn't allow the kids, uh, anybody to come out here and play. Because this was supposed to be a sacred area. Does Ivory Coast have an idea about how many, the number of slaves possibly crossed through? Is it documented at all? Yes, you have an idea of the number of slaves that have passed through the Côte d'Ivoire. It's thousands and thousands. We don't have thousands and thousands. Yeah. Ask, ask him this, his opinion on this. There are um, black Americans in America who are claiming that the slave trade never happened and that all this is a hoax and that many black Americans are indigenous to uh, to America and that this is all a big fraud. Okay, see, slavery actually existed, and this the name of the village, Kanganyaze, means slavery. Uh, it's related to slavery. Okay, so the name Kanganyaze, Kanga means slave. Here's water. Just have some water. So this is where the name of the village comes from. So to those that say slavery never existed, there's a village in Ivory Coast that has a name related to slavery. You can come and check it out for yourself. But they won't. A lot of them don't have passports. <laughs> in fact, just about all of them don't have passports. So yeah, they really want. And they're serious. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. The locals did they really know that it was for slavery? It's like, yeah, there were the slave traders that came heavily armed. They knew what they were coming for. They would go deep inland, capture people, prisoners of prisoner of war and people like that and bring them here to go and sell them off. There's nothing they could do no. themselves to no. prevent that. So they use the spiritual rites to purify them, give them serenity, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. on that next journey. Because they knew that. And this used to be a very dense forest back in the day. It was just, the, the path was just a commercial path to the, mm -hmm. the neighboring villages and that's where the slave trader would go through this village. So they were so the the the, the locals in the village they knew what was they going what on. What was happening? What was what they were taking that's why they created our rights to give him some sense of dignity cuz mm -hmm. he re, he repeated again that people that by the time they got here they were emaciated in chains. Mm -hmm. Famish and all that, so the village would give them food and I restore their dignity before they were taken out to South America. All right, perfect. All right, go ahead. Professor just told me a story about a descendant of slaves that live here. I'm like, what do you mean descendant of slaves? There was a slave woman with her baby that came to here, and after purification, she gave her baby to the locals, and that. That was maybe 150 years ago, and that family still live here, descended a slave that didn't actually make it to America, but, but the, one, mother, the mother went, went, and the baby stayed here, and it's a family, not arranged from this village, but that was taken from one of the slaves. So somebody in America might have an ancestor that lived in this village. Wow. Maybe we uh, connect them. 
yeah. one day. So yeah, exactly. That should be interesting. It would be interesting, yeah. But there wouldn't be a name. Because I'm sure that woman was nameless, faceless. But she left her baby in this village before continuing on to America. And I'm sure making more babies. Yeah. On the plantation. On the plantation. Force. And you see they've known that family for decades. And they still live here in this village. Wow. All right, so we'll head back. Abidjan. 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 That's the chef. That's the chef. That's the chef's house. That's who? The chef. That's where the chief we hear. Okay. Okay. So are we in are we in the village now? Are we headed? Yeah, we're in the village, Kengan. Yes. Okay. There was an old structure where they would put the slave and put them. This is the river, the Bandama River. Okay. Well, that's where the grand bus takes you to the ocean. The big pirogues, and then they'll take them straight down to Grand Lao, the city that's by the ocean. And that's from there, that says the house of no return, almost like Almina. So you're saying there was a, uh, there used to be a structure here? Yeah. But it was uh, old, so it's common. There's a structure here, I guess you can see the common. That's the bank where they would load them up and take them to Grand Lao, which is by the ocean. Probably 100 kilometers down. Okay. Downstream. So, when we get more of the world, on va faire le tour de ce bâtiment là et puis on va aller de l'autre côté, sur le Manguer, là c'est plus proche de l'autre. C'est par là même que l'on va aller de l'autre côté. Bon, donc l'entrée c'est par derrière. Donc l'entrée c'est par derrière. Donc l'entrée c'est par derrière. Donc il lui dit que... C'est le site, c'est le site, c'est le banque où ils vont loader les slaves de Kanganyaze et les prendre à la ville de Grand Lao, par l'océan, et les loader dans les chips de l'Amérique. Donc quand ils quittent le nord, ils arrivent à Kanyazé, on les lave, on les pèlent ici, et de là-bas, on les envoie ici, 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 on les
Devant, devant, devant. Devant, devant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. right. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that that tour, the tour of the uh, Slave Road. Um, they're going to be adding more to it. I was probably the first. In fact, I think I'm the first American, Black American, to actually uh, view this. It's something they're still working on. So this is like an inside sneak peek into the uh, Slave Road. Um, I guess slavery um, memorial and tour. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Till next time, that is the mere search for Uhuru and Ivory Coast. Peace.